last time you went to see the 3D movie and then you came home with a bunch of these. What are you gonna do with them? Well, we're gonna change them into cute wearable glasses. Well, I debuted these glasses three weeks ago and I got a great response. A lot of you guys want me to show you how to make this. I already have a tutorial on how to make the Hello Kitty bow, so I want to show you guys how to make this cute angel wings. Most of you guys probably figure out how to make the Hello Kitty bow, so I want to make this video a little bit more interesting. That's why I want to show you guys how to make this wing. You can choose either to make, but you probably could make both of them since you probably have plenty of those glasses laying around. Alrighty, let's get right to it. First, the Hello Kitty bowl. If you guys want to learn how to make it, click on the bowl or check the info box. To put together the glasses is really easy. All you gotta do is pop out the lens like so. And be sure to do it on both sides. I made these bowls on the previous tutorial, it still had an eye pin attached to them. What I'm gonna do is gently remove the eye pin and clean up the surface a little bit. I must say, this is the one of the best glue to use when it comes to crafting. It's the E6000. It dries clear and when it's completely dry, it attaches like concrete. Well, maybe not that extreme, but you get the idea. And this one, you can still see the glue a little bit because it's not completely dry. But the other one, it's completely dry so you can hardly see the glue. Let's move on to the Angel Wings charm. I'm using the translucent polymer clay to give it that more angelic effect. First, you flatten the pretty decent sized clay into an oval shape. The thickness of the clay is really your preference. Mine's is probably about 1 mm thick. First, you do a gentle curve. Be sure the first part is bigger than the tail. It's kind of look like an elongated S shape. Starting from the bigger side and try to do a small little swirl. Be sure the blade cut through the clay completely. Make the first feather wings on the tip and do a two half circle cut. Try to make the same distance between two half circles. Clean it up a little bit. Take a generous amount of black polymer clay and start rolling it out into a long string. I used the same concept on the Hello Kitty bowl, so if you guys know how to make the Hello Kitty, this will be really easy for you. Gently flatten the clay out a little bit. Be sure the width of this clay matches the height of the wing. Okay, gently remove all the clay from the working surface. You want to gently tuck the wings out a little bit, but don't pull it too hard so that it will come apart and push the inlayer piece back into the wings as much as you can. And then you can start rolling it like a sushi roll. At this point, it's very straightforward. You just gotta be very gentle and slowly move your fingers around and attach it to the wing. The reason why I pick a black inlay piece is because the frame of the glasses is black. It makes the charm look like it belongs there. When you get to the tips, just give it a gentle squeeze so it looks pointy. I'm using the back of the blade to push the clay in place. As you can see, it's very straightforward. All you just gotta make sure is to push those clays back into those tight corners. And cut away any excess clay. You always wanna cut a, maybe a little at a time because you don't wanna be short. You'd rather have more to work with than less. Make any last minute adjustment and push all those little tight corners to its rightful place. And this step 
is really optional. This is a makeup pigment from MAC. Um, the only reason I'm using this is because I want to use it on something. I had this for so many years and I didn't even use it once. It's a very pretty iridescent blue color, especially if it's laid on top of a black background as you can see right there. And I also want to see if makeup works on polymer clay. Hmm, not too bad, huh? It gets that very angelic effect. Go ahead, bake it in the oven. And this is how it looks like when it's done. The pigment on the wing do come off a little bit, but it's not terrible. You see how easy it is to remove the lens? And of course, if you don't have this E6000, you can use the regular glue as well. But just be careful, don't like throw them around too much because the typical glue are very weak. You can also use hot glue gun, but I would not suggest super glue because super glue tends to give off the white streaks when it's completely dry. Voila! Now it is done! Go ahead, pick whichever one you want to make. And we're done to do your next 3D movie events. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. It really do mean a lot to me. And thank you for all the comments and suggestions. You guys encourage me to do more every week. I'll see you guys next week. May you be happy.